What's up with everybody? It's your boy Mookie Jones for Rated R Sports the Base, man. Before we get into the video, make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, hit the bell for notifications. We got a great episode for y'all today. Make sure you stay tuned. I want to talk about Justin Herbert, ladies and gentlemen, right? Justin Herbert came into this season as one of the most underrated quarterbacks in the NFL because the main narrative about Justin Herbert is that uh, he's a talented quarterback. Um, he has a cannon of an arm, um, but he has the numbers to back up his production as well. But can he lead his team to the playoffs, right? And that was the main talking point when discussing a guy like Justin Herbert. Because if you look at what he did in his rookie year, in his sophomore season, throwing for 4,300 yards, no other quarterback has done that in their rookie season, right? And then in their second season, right, throwing for 5,000 yards, they top two in the NFL in passing yards. Um, Justin Herbert, to me, was an elite quarterback. But the thing about Justin Herbert and the reason why, you know, majority of the casual fans um, like to throw that away is because he hasn't led his team to the playoffs, right? So, we fast forward to this season, right? The Chargers really supposed to miss the playoffs. Um, their best right tackle has been out. Uh, their best uh, edge rusher, been out majority of the year. Kenan Allen missed seven games. Mike William missed five games, right? Justin Herbert been playing with a broken rib cartilage, right? The play calling has been inconsistent. It's been conservative, right? Justin Herbert, for majority of them goddamn games, he's been playing with practice squad wide receivers, right? And Justin Herbert still weathered the storm, right? And got this team to the playoffs, man. Like they beat the Colts last night to clinch a playoff berth, right? Justin Herbert literally has been proving the doubters wrong. He's been proving the doubters wrong this season, man, right? The narratives is gone. You can't sit there and say this man, Justin Herbert, is not a winning quarterback. You can't sit there and say Justin Herbert can't lead his team to the playoffs. He did it, right? And at the end of the day, it just speaks to a man's greatness as Justin Herbert to overcome the adversity that been handed to him this season and be in a bad situation if you compare it to his peers of quarterbacks that in the top four quarterbacks right now in the NFL. Justin Herbert has been in a bad situation. He is the most pressured quarterback in the NFL, right? And all that being said, he has his chargers to the playoffs. He's second in the NFL in pass yards. He's top four in the NFL in completion percentage, right? And this man, Justin Herbert, has been performing at a high level, right, this whole season, man, right? And Keenan Allen and Mike Williams barely played with each other this season. It just speaks to a man greatness. Justin Herbert is an elite quarterback, ladies and gentlemen, right? He is an elite quarterback. And at the end of the day, if you look at what Justin Herbert has done throughout his entirety of his career, first of all, he's the fastest player in three seasons to reach 13,000 yards, right? He is the only player in NFL history to have at least 4,000 passing yards in every season he played, right? Game winning drive in 27% of his game. Justin Herbert has come through. He defines what a elite level traditional quarterback, a man that has a cannon of an arm, the man that can fit throws in tight windows. He has one of the best pocket awareness in football. He is, to me, one of the most accurate quarterbacks in football. Man, Justin Herbert is just pure elite. You can't teach that talent. He has generational talent, ladies and gentlemen, right? And at the end of the day, um, I'm so happy for Justin Herbert to get his team into the playoffs. Um, the Chargers have the best quarterback in their draft class in Justin Herbert. I believe so. And they have a generational quarterback. I believe Justin Herbert will be in that top two, top three range for years to come, right? Um, the Chargers are in the playoffs. They likely will face the Bengals if it if the standing remain the same. Um, I like that matchup, but the thing about Chargers is um, their offensive line is bad. Uh, they need to go out there and protect Justin Herbert. There's no way that he is literally the most pressured quarterback. If you give Justin Herbert at least – three or four seconds, he's going to find an open receiver. That's the thing that he has. He can scan the field and find an open receiver. Um, they don't have no running game. 
Um, Austin Eckler had a big game last night, but can that be sustainable going into the playoffs, right? Um, they're getting their guys back healthy um, on the defensive side of the ball. I love how they uh, playing defensively these last couple of games. They're stopping the run. Um, they're getting to the quarterback. So I love how the Chargers defense is playing these last couple of games, which is pretty, pretty great going into the playoffs as well. So um, I think the Chargers have a chance. Now, now we got Justin Herbert in the playoffs. We got to see how Justin Herbert plays in the biggest lights in the playoffs, right? So um, not bad for a social media quarterback like that guy, that clown, Emmanuel Echo, whatever the dude name is. Not bad for a social media quarterback um, in Justin Herbert to throw for over 4,000 yards, missing his top two receivers and leading his team to the playoffs, right? Playing with a bad offensive line. Not bad, right? Um, but Justin Herbert is great. He's elite. I think he's a top two quarterback in football. People use the wins and losses in, in a football debate, which I think that's the most casual, disingenuous, lazy argument ever. But at the end of the day, man, Herbert is a problem. He's an elite, right? So, shout out to the Chargers. Shout out to Justin Herbert. Very proud of him. Uh, but now, it's to, it's time to perform in the biggest stage, man. So, everybody that sat there and hate on Justin Herbert, you're sad. you sad. This man, Justin Herbert, is an elite level quarterback, ladies and gentlemen. He's an elite. And you people hate it. Right? Shout out to the Chargers. Justin Herbert is his generational talent. We're looking at another all-time great quarterback. And I can't wait to see what he do in the grandest stage of them all in the playoffs in football, right? Make sure you smash the like button. Let me know what you think in the comment section. It's your boy, Mookie Jones. I'm out.